And to conclude, uh, we have uh, our grand tomorrow contribution. So, how uh, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. And uh, thank all of the people with uh, uh, patience and uh, time and ability to remain for the end. And what a wonderful conference and, and so much great information was, ex was exchanged. Um, let me try and sum up. Uh, and then I want to also mention a few other points that I didn't get a chance to cover yesterday. But one thing that this conference really reminds me of is how difficult it is to plan in the middle of a revolution. And, you know, in the middle of such uh, uh, enormous change in the way education is delivered, people are trying to make plans to do the next logical step, but then something happens someplace else and you, you realize that what you've been working on uh, is completely uh, ir irrelevant or surpassed by something else, and, 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 and then you move on. Um, uh, and so I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that I know that are moving in that direction. I also wanted to recognize the remarkable presentations that just occurred. It was great to hear about the important work at OER Research Hub and um, the uh, earlier presentations. Um, and uh, I was also so impressed by the uh, work that, is it Professor Thiro? Did somebody say this name? Thierry. 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 Just remarkable uh, what he showed us. And it, and it reminded me, these are the kinds of academics that we encounter around the world who have a passion for their subject and their domain and for teaching and who are willing to take, in his case, 40 years worth of a scholarly effort and provide it in a set of modern illustrations that then um, he lets others generously use that improve the education on, on anatomy. And it reminded me that one of the big questions that policymakers face is whether people like this professor um, can be created or are they just born? Uh, what, is the, what is the role of an institution in helping to encourage remarkable, talented, generous academic experts so that the work that they do can reach an even wider audience? And this brings up a very important point that I wanted to summarize on the policy issue because people have been thinking about what is and talking about what is the appropriate policy. Um, and there are appropriate policies that are reflected in the policy map that OER Research Hub has created at the, internet, at the national level, at the national level, at the state level, even at the bilateral level, at the multilateral level, and, and particularly at the institutional level. But I can tell you that the most effective policy that I have seen now um, and, and I've been involved in uh, our institutional policies and state policies that are very simple. Uh, and that what they do is they offer support to faculty members who wish to use or create open educational resources without requiring anybody to do anything. Because it's our experience that um, on almost every college campus we visited, and indeed 